Jerron Anders fighting Brian Norman Jr. is probably the biggest fight of this era. And we let, we're letting that fight slip right past us. Because boxing fans, they tend to only want to focus on the stars of the sport. Everybody's hollering Javante Davis, Javante Davis, and, and worried about what Javante Davis needs to do to better his resume. Meanwhile, better fights that can actually help the sport were letting slip right on past us because most of us can't take our attention away from Javante Davis. We're so focused on what Javante Davis is doing. There are bigger and better fights that can be made, and, and we're letting those fights slip right on past us because we're not calling for those fights because we're so focused on the stars. Everybody's so worried about Javante Davis. Everybody is nitpicking Javante Davis's resume. Everybody's talking about Javante Davis when we should all be talking about the sport of boxing as a whole. There's boxing outside of Javante Davis. If Javante Davis retires today, boxing will still go on. But everybody's so, you know, focused on Javante Davis's resume and, 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 and trying their hardest to degrade one particular fighter because of their of most of you guys dislikes towards this man. If you guys are a real boxing fan, you will push Javante Davis off to the side and tell Javante Davis when he's ready to do something in the sport, come holler at us. But till then, we're going to worry about the other fights that can be made. You see, Jerron Ennis versus Brian Owen Jr., like I said a minute ago, is probably the biggest fight of this era. Like literally the biggest fight. Two prime undefeated fighters. Two black American undefeated fighters with pride at that. So, Jerron Ennis versus Brian Norman Jr. is guaranteed action. But again, you know, we're letting that potential make a fight slip right on past us because we're only focused on a, only a handful of fighters. We're so worried about what Javante Davis is doing. Javante Davis is not boxing. You see, some years ago, I talked about how I believe Rashidi Ellis you know, can be that fighter that can either trouble Jerron Ennis or beat Jerron Ennis. And what happened to me? I got ridiculed. I got laughed at. I got mocked. Oh, John Marks, you don't know what you're talking about. Fast forward, damn near three years later, Jerron Ennis beats a guy by the name of Karen, and then Karen switched it up and decided to engage more with Jerron Ennis, and look how the fight played out. Look how the fight played out. Karen decided that he was going to engage more and, and punch back instead of being on the back foot. The fight was a competitive fight. And I knew that Jerron Ennis had a weakness way before he got exposed of his weakness by Karen. And this is why I said a fighter like Rashidi Ellis can exploit Jerron Ennis' weakness. And you guys call me crazy. But not only Rashidi Ellis can exploit Jerron Ennis' weakness, so can Brian Norman Jr. And when I called for that fight about a year ago, or close to a year ago, people said that, that Brian Norman Jr. did not deserve. And that has to stop. That, that nonsense has to stop. Brian Norman Jr. deserves a Jerron Ennis fight. And if we want boxing to thrive, we got to call for these fights. We got to stop telling these fighters that they don't deserve or do deserve. Because we're nobody to tell these fighters what they what they don't or do deserve. Brian Norman Jr. versus Jerron Ennis is literally the best fight of this era. And if Rashidi Ellis, you know, does bounce back by beating someone like Mario Barrios, that makes the fight between Jerron Ennis and Rashidi Ellis that much bigger. And I I can honestly guarantee you that you guys may think that oh Jerron Ennis knocks out Rashidi Ellis, but I beg to differ. I think Rashidi Ellis can pull off the upset. I think Rashidi Ellis can beat Jerron Ennis if he doesn't get hurt. Jerron Ennis is very hittable. And I think that with Rashidi Ellis' speed and him fighting so low to the ground, meaning that he doesn't fight tall, he fights short. And with the speed and a, and a decent you know, punching power that he has, I think he can actually um, beat Jerron Ennis. You know, you're not going to sit here and tell me that Karen is a better fighter than Rashidi Ellis. You may say Karen is better mentally, 
But physically, I mean, come on now. Rashidi Ellis all day. And so, instead of us as fans focusing on the stars like the Javante Davis and the, and the Canelo Alvarez, we need to take some of the attention off of those fighters and bring it down to the fighters that actually deserve the attention. I mean, look at David Benavidez and, and David Morrell. They're getting ready to fight each other, and we're still worried about what Javante Davis is doing. 